Good morning and welcome to the Atlanta Candlepin Singles Tour Blockbuster match today between the Terminator, Charlie Collins and Tim Douglas from Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Mass. I'm Paul Grant. Great to be with you again. Charlie, the Terminator. Red Hot last time against Brian. Yes, very. 646. It clicked for you in week number three. Now you're in week four. Non-division matchup here for the first time. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, I like Tim and it's be a great match between us. I'm expecting uh, some high 600s, but... Um, We'll see how it goes. The average pro bowler throws about 0.9 strikes a string. You seem to get a lot of double strikes in your matches, the Friday Night Pro League and the ACST matches. How many times do you get a double strike, you think, on average? I don't know. I threw one I threw one against Brian last week, and then I had two uh, last Friday as well. So yeah. we'll see. <laughs> How did you get interested in Kenneth Bowling way back when you started a few years ago? All right. Funny story. So I was over my great-grandmother's house, and we were flipping through the channels, and um, uh, me and my brother were crying, and we went to, I don't know, we went to Ken Open Bowling, and we stopped crying. And then my mom was like, whoa, he, he, this is interesting for them. So we switched it, and then me and my brother started crying again. And then uh, we went back, and we stopped crying. We just we joined the league at three, and then we just kept going since. What, what made you guys cry? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good tough match with Tim Douglas today. His home home turf here. Yeah, I haven't been here. I haven't been here since I was like 17 years old. So um, <coughs> we'll see uh, how it goes. All right, good luck today. Let's talk to Tim Douglas here. Tim, the current Pro Series playoff winner from yeah. last season. Congratulations, Tim, again. Thank you. Another good start last time. I believe it was a 6:30 last time out. Yep. It's gonna be interesting. So you, you bowled your brother Tim Doug Scott Douglas earlier this year, and he had that big 7-9 shot to beat you by one pin, and took 10 of 14 upset. A mild upset, not a big upset, but a mild upset. You guys have a lot of respect for each other. Now you got another great bowl in the Terminator, Charlie Collins. Oh, I I love bowling with him. He he's awesome. He's also in my he's also my men's worlds teammate too. So that's gonna that's gonna be fun to bowl. I gotta buy more raffle tickets up you guys then today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck today. Thank you. It's a five string format of the ACST 18 week season. It's two points for win, one for tie, four for total. It's going to weigh. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, is the visiting bowler. He'll go first. As bowlers shake hands behind the camera. Oh. Both of high respect for each other, the way it should be in Kenneth Bowling. I'm going to put the scores on the screen every five boxes or so. Thank you for watching on Kenneth and Chat and Kenneth and Bowling Network and across all the digital platforms. Perfect shot, clip wing eagle. Four two split. Welcome Josh Daly and Ryan Ryan Hogan. On the object pin, it's three, has the three six to the right, the seven to the left. Be sure to tell your friends and family about the great game of Kenlop and Bowling. Eight to start the match, first to five. From Kingston, Massachusetts. There's a Kingston, New Hampshire also, and he leaves lives. Right on the south shore of Route 3. Nice little two-hour drive this morning from Haverhill. Sometimes it takes three hours. Josh Daly, I want you to give me a corporate jet. Hello, Jordan Britton, Mike McGinty. Great kid from Bowlers. Steals eight, has the one and the eight. Second box, first string. Charlie from Waltham, Mass., a senior at Framingham State. Where's the Framingham University nowadays? The wood to help. And he missed it, but he got to go. First spare of the match, 18 the ball through two. The average Pro Bowl gets 3.1 spares per string, based on the 120 average and 0.9 on strikes. Stats provided by Canelf and Bowling Network. Thanks to Bob Lee for providing those stats. We'll update those from time to time as he gets more data. The Terminator on the spare. Open again as the triangle, the 6, 9, 10, and the 7 to the left. 24 through 2 here in the first of five. Got the 10 as the 6, 9 to the right, the 7 to the left.
Colin, Nate. Sandwich, 228 sandwich by a spare six, 32 through three. Last night, a thrilling match between Rich Lamoni and Jake Cook at CPL. Watch it on Canlip and Bowling Network or on ACST Facebook page. Two pin win for Jake Cook coming down from 35 down. In the Sam Ladati match, Kevin Dietrich is tight also after four strings. Charlie in the hip again. Third time in four boxes has this four seven left, the six to the right. So we can drill this wood over. Collins for a spare. Got it. Beautiful shot. Like Stephen Vox so far. Spare in the second, spare in the fourth. 42 in a ball through first of five. Atlantic Kelvin singles to a class A division. Weak. Four matchup. Collins on the spear. Thin hit. And look at this. Well, it got the 10 to go. So now it's the one makeable, the two, the seven, and the nine. Home Depot, Lowe's, and Obershawn Hardware on the deck. 49 through four. Look at the third mark. He's got it. Nice shooting. 59 half of the Terminator, Charlie Collins. That's what I was to say. If I parts the win, what three? That was funny. If I would like to break that, too. Oh, my God. Here's Tim Douglas. 28 and 14 coming in. Charlie Collins, 26 and 16 coming in. I mean, it's a 59 plus one half. Timmy, perfect shot. Spread Eagle had the nine pin with it. <laughs> Charlie had a similar first shot. Come on, Two, four, seven, and a three to the right. Up against eight box and a 59 half plus one. Nice out for a nine, up one in the string. Right now, box to box. Cool thing with the Alley Cat manual score sheets, it tells you how to pick up spares and how to play wood. Fun little fun facts here. You know how to play shots and all the playing rules. Yeah. I have a lane reset here. Follow it. So I thought that was pretty uh, pretty cool. And the one thing I like is bowling etiquette, which obviously is very important in this game. Want to set a good example for our youth? The back of the score sheets, the Alley Cat Lanes here in Kingston, Mass. Third time here covering Tim Douglas. First two times with his brother Scott Douglas. Right, actually, the first one was Justin Waters, where Tim Douglas has 657 to 630 win. The highest score I've covered. That's a nice shot for a strike. There it is. 19 plus 2, a bomb by Tim Douglas. He had 12 in that match against Justin Waters, that five string ACST match last year, late in the season. He had seven spares and 12 strikes in that match. Justin throws a 630 and loses by 27. He was great that night, too. You watch it on Canlip and Bowling Network. Or on the ACST Facebook page. Look for a double strike. On the head pin, he's got the 3, 6, 10, the 9, and the 3 pin. One piece of wood to help. 3 for 3 in the head pin. Working on a strike. Yeah, Chris, I'll put that a little further back. Thanks for the feedback. So Perhaps three for nine, filling the strike. 28 through two. Right now, four up against an eight box, and then two spares. Nice spinning at 10. 38 through three. Currently up six. How's that, Chris? On the back of the alley chat score sheets. Pretty cool factors here. Fourth blocks for a string. Goes left for the first time. Off the head pin. He has the bundle of six. Right there. Uh, come back, Woody. 
with it. Tim, goes right, half west, yeah, one five yeah. in the middle, the six ten yeah. to the right. Charlie Collins takes the lead. Beautiful out, nine. 47 through four, down two in the string, up against a spare from the Terminator. Tim from Marshall, Mass. Let's go life. Has a high single of 190. Neat bowler of 123. Career high for a season 131. Career triple of 457. That's the 1 2 leaf. For a spare, missed it. And Charlie has to lead halfway through the first. Charlie on a spare coming up next. 59 half plus one. Douglas, back to back nines. Three nines and a half. 56 half. Paul Grantley live from Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Mass. Week four, the ACST Class A division. Charlie Collins and Tim Douglas. Great matchup here, early season. Ship in lane 18. Charlie working on a spare. Three spares. Fills a six and seven so far. That's the Cleary. Five fills. 64 half. Up eight in the string. Nice ball. Almost. One in front, one behind the wood. Good bid. Nine box, 73 through six. Charlie averaging around 118. Birthday on February 10th, just 21 years old. High single of 191, high triple of 425, and a high five of 697. This upside is huge. Just a great guy on and off the lanes. Yep. Close right. Thin hit, only two. As the pack of five, the hay bale, and to the right is the six, nine, ten triangle, one piece of wood. Very careful making the shot. We missed it right. The four horsemen, one, two, four, seven, six, ten, to the right. Hilo Jack Lee for a 7, 80 through 7. He had two 8s and a 7, lowering his score with the three spares. Fills with 8 of 6, 7, and 5 so far. Tim Douglas had a strike 9 in the second box. In the pocket, a little thin, has the half Worcester left, the 2 8, and goal pole 7 10. Three pieces of wood to help drive over. Five eight and the head pin so far here in the first of five. Tim. Just missed to the right. Come on, good enough. Charlie Collins, a three time Canlipin New Generation champion. Nice out for nine. 89 through eight. Doesn't have a 10 box history either. Two eights, two nines, and a seven. And three spares. 89 through eight. I want to get a mark for the pressure on Tim Douglas. He has the one, three, and the 10. Tim's father Paul here in attendance, watching, always supporting Tim and Scott Douglas. Just missed Ed Pin. 
Open for the fourth box in a row. Come on. The 64 half. Collins at 10, 99 through 9. Go 11, go 11, come on. So just 35 in his last four. Want to get a mark. Keep the pressure on Tim. Collie no balls like Wuben Bowler Drone for the ACST and Sunnyside Bowler Drone, Danvers Mass for the Friday Night Pro League. Oh, do you have a different than that? Steve Mansfield, 99 through 9. His teammates are Aaron St. Cyr, Frank DeLuca, Nick Norfoss, and Josh Daly. Josh Daly, a two time New Canadian Generation winner, also. Stephen Munn from Texas watching again. Thank you for supporting this great game of Kenneth Ball. Yeah. Charlie has a spare chance. The one, three, and the six. Tenth box, first string. For a spare. No. Open second half. Leaving the door open for Tim Douglas. Ten box, 109 for a string. Oh, it was there? Yeah. I thought I had a 99. I'm pretty. It has to be 109, right? 109. Yeah. yeah. Scoreboard's off by one. They'll fix that. It's 109. So Tim Douglas, a chance to win the string. He'll need a mark to do it. It's 54 and five boxes. The home bowler here at Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston Mass. 26 lanes here. There's a 10 pin center around the corner, but Canopin rules. Tim, 3 for 5 in the head pin in the first half. One marker, strike 9 in the second. Close left. Has the 1, 7, 8, and 10. One piece of wood to the right. Not much of a factor. Perfect matinee matchup here. Nice bid. Almost pulled it off. Close have to fall between 43 and 46 a lot of times. 10 bucks. 66 through 6, down 7 in the string. 34, uh, correction, 44 in 4 boxes to win the string. Take the first 2 points. Again, 2 points for a win. One for tie, four for total. Fourteen points up for grabs. Tim Douglas, what's been left of one, two, four, and seven. He's got about 36% based on Kenneth Moore Network stats. That's for Pro Bowls, not wood. For a spare. No, it looked good. Looks so easy, yes. It doesn't go a lot of times. Up against a seven box here, he'll gain some pins. Nine that time, 75 through seven. What? Out of the gutter, no good. 80 to 75, Charlie Collins up three, three boxes to go on the first of five from Kingston, Mass. Kendall Pins for Cancer qualifying round two tomorrow, 11 a.m. What's the ball of Ron? We'll be here tonight doing a Kendall Pins Cancer fundraiser at 6 p.m. Possible live stream also. 11 o'clock tomorrow, please register candlepins number 4 cancercom If you don't have a computer, you can't register, please come on down. 11 a.m. tomorrow, get down to 1030 to register. Candlepins number 4 cancercom 11 a.m. tomorrow. Round 2 or 6, Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Candlepins number 4 cancercom Top 5 to a live show December 18th at Portsmouth Bullarama. Douglas in the pocket. Look at the diamond as a triangle. Good piece of wood between the two, four, and five. For a spare, to the left. Still needs a mark to win. Ten box. Gained every every box he's gained a pin, a pin or two at least. 85 through 8, down 4, up against 210, so he needs 25 in two boxes to win. Should they tie, it's one point apiece. 
Team using the whole approach. Cross is over. Has a chance now. The three and the ten. Decent wood to help. For a spare. Got it. 95 with the ball through nine. Needs at least five and a ten. Five in the fill in the ten box to win the string. One spare, one strike. In the string. Two points out of Charlie Collins in the standings. This is a non division matchup. In the pocket it gets nine. And a great chance to win the string now. He's actually won it. 104 through nine. He takes the first two points. Chance to add more here. Got it. Back to back spares. 114 the ball. A five plus a bonus ball. So each with three marks. The difference was the pinning. Tim is strike nine, spare nine, Phil. Charlie's three spares, six, seven, and five. Under seven, two eights, and a couple of nines didn't help. Goes to the right and gets five. Make it six. That'll be six. Make sure it register six, guys. 120 first string. So Tim Douglas takes it 120 to 109. He's up 11 with four more to go. You're watching the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class A Division. Paul Green with you live from Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston, Massachusetts. Week four matchup, the first non division matchup, the first three weeks. Paul has bowled in their own division in the last three weeks of the season. If you want to bowl in the ACST, be a standby or be on the list for next year or fill in for an injury, contact Danny Finn at Ryan Filming Musings or Danny Finn, preferably on Facebook Messenger, F I N N, Danny Finn. Charlie Collins down the second string, down 11. Passing over, parallel pins, plus the seven. First string, Tim 120, Charlie 109. Well, Ryan Hogan up north. Charlie trying to go one of the four. And we got the one. Charlie had three spares in that first string in the first half. 64 half. Just 45. Open in the second half. Nice out. It's a nine to start the second of five. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Academy Lanes, Haver Mass. Brian Pat. And Paul Atkinson Jr. on ACST Facebook page. I'll be there at Academy Lanes. Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock. Faye Sawyer and Kevin DeBray will be there at Lakeside Lanes. In Chester, New Hampshire, 4 o'clock match. Faye Sawyer, red hot, 22 and 6. Has the high single. Ladies, this season, 160. And has a, the high five of 385, which beat all the men so far as well. So far, early in the season. That's in the regular leagues. Manchester Lakes and Lanes. Charlie the triangle, the two, four, and the five. For a spare, no. Open out the seven straight boxes. Cleans it up for a 10, 19 through two. Good pinning, but needs to get some arcs. Charlie's favorite bowling moment was getting a 191, his high single. He followed with a 91 afterwards. So reset lane 17. It happens a lot, you see. A lemon, uh, almost a lemon drop on the reset. Both bowlers agree to do $1 for Candle Pins for Cancer for the four or six from your first shot. You can demo it to candlepins number four cancer.com to donate $1 for the lemon drop pool. Mark Ritchie from Riverwalk said $5 in a mark. I'm kidding around, but it's optional. Fun way to help a great cause. Charlie enjoys coming from bowling and basketball. Be taking an Aaron St. Cyril basketball next match at Academy Lane. Take a look. Just off the right to the head pin is the one, two, the nine, and the ten. Trying to get on track here. This 
second. Led by four after eight blocks in the first, but Tim Douglas, spare nine, spare six. From 11. Oh, what a sharper spare. Wow. 29 of the ball through three. Fourth spare of the match. Average pro bowler gets about 0.9 strikes per string. Charlie, Charlie has uh, shut out so far in that department. Tim had one of the first. Cross, wow. look at this lead. You gotta be kidding me. How often do you see this one, folks? Yikes. Uh, that was the best ball I threw. Two triangles, in a sense. That's the ball I just threw. Yep. Yeah. And fourth hill, 33 through three. You could say a center triangle, you could say a triangle left. Cross over triangle, plus the 10. So we can spin that wood over. Right in the middle, want to go far left. Four, seven, ten, left up. The average spare field for Caleb and Bowlers is 6.5, 8.3 for strikes. It's an 8 box, 41 through 4. So this field's been 4, 5, 6, and 7 in the match. Charlie Collins, lane 17. Goes left, leads to the bundle of six. Saturday, 11 o'clock, Justin Scally, Bob Lee on Caleb and Bowling Network will have the next to money match. Josh Dilly, Nate Lee, if any chance, over the second one in the row, take on Amanda Carroll and Jeff Surrett. 11 a.m., Caleb and Bowling Network. And I'll be at Scarborough, Maine for the ICBA Championship, 12 noon on Caleb and Bowling Network also. That'll be a five-string match. Eleven different bowlers. Three different states. Charlie Collins. A nine. Fifty half. So Tim Douglas up eleven coming in. Won the first 120 to 109. Up against the 50 half in the terminator. Big finish that first string to win it by eleven. Shout out to the Class B and Class C division, the ACST. A lot of great matches this year. Working their way up to the next ladder. 10 to 1, 2, 4, 6, and 10. And went right. These are the 1 and 2. Nine to tie, box to box here in the second. Tim up two points to none. Eighteen week season, division lead, division bowlers play each other three times, uh, twice rather. First three weeks, last three weeks this season. Then six home, six away from the other conference bowlers. Sixteen team conference, north and south. This is the southern conference of the Class A division. The winner of the south will play the winner of the north. Nice ball there, eight. 18 week season. They go twice a month. Flexible schedule. As you can see, it. 11 o'clock start today. Nice ball. Spare. 19 the ball through two. And the second string of five. That's three spares crossing over the last string. Four boxes. the bonus. Got a break. That's the high low jack, the 1710. 26 through 2 of 7 in the string, 18 in the match. Up against the spare 4 from Charlie Collins. Just missed it. So close. 2 for 1, special here. Speaking of specials, rock and bowl here. Alley Cat Lane's Friday and Saturday at $40. Limited bowling. 7 right, bucks. 33 through 3. Tied in a string, box to box, up against an 8 and a 9. Tim's overall high single, 190. Again, high triple, 457. His high five was 7 1. Broke it recently with a 713. 
in that match hit a 160, a 163, 129, 118, and 143 on September 13. That was Lee. Bad side. Spread eagle plus the eight. Very frustrating shot. You hit the ball perfectly in the nose, and nothing to show for it. My God. He's at five. Wow. Jordan, Bra Bra up. Jordan Britton, your bracket's going to be busted again. Every time you pick someone, they lose. He's picking Amanda and Jeff in a landslide. I like Josh Daly. And Nate Lease. Right. Jordan likes to tease. Back-to-back -back sevens for Tim Douglas. 40 through four, down one in the string. Right up, up 10 in the match. Speaking of Jordan Britton, Corey Lisi, Jordan Britton, host Kendall in the corner. Check it out. Whatever night, night they do it, sometimes it's Tuesday nights. On Twitch, you can subscribe. Game is online for free. Twitch, Kendall in the corner, Corey Lisi, Jordan Britton. That's something. 7-10 goal post, good to help. Tim Douglas. Yeah. Ripping the React podcast also. Brian Athen, Tim Matero, Calvin Mott from Canada. Every other Tuesday comes out. And he got it to go a spare. Yeah, no what? 50 half no. plus one. No, so the string is tied, but he'll be on a bonus when he comes up next. Wow. Second spare of the string. He's up 11 in the match. From Alley Cat Lanes, Kingston Mass, Paul Green with you live. The Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class A Division. Week four matchup, Charlie Collins, 26 and 16. Tim Douglas, 28 and 14. Switch back over to lane 18. Collins, close left. 310. Not easy, but makeable. Fourth or six in the head pin here in the second. Takes his time, delivers. Got it, perfect shot, spare. 16 a ball through six in the second of five. His twin brother Hunter Collins, another good bowler also. On the bonus, leads at the post. Five fills, 65 through six. Nice offer, good try, won't go. Nine, 74 through seven. Hit a 109 in the first. Lost it by 11. Tied at the halfway point here in the second with Tim on a spare up next. So I need a couple of marks here to help him out. Missed the head pin, but that's the one, two, four spare chance. Charlie, five spares in the match. Still looking for his first strike. Like Tim Buggles, he can put a whole bunch together in a hurry. Missed it right. A little bit off here in the second. So that 64 first half in the first. It's tough sledding. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third for a 10. 84 through 8 in the second. Collins goes left. Once again, the three and the ten. Just made that shot a cup of coffee ago. Spare. Got him again. Precise shooting. 94 and a ball through nine. Third spare of the string. 
It's biggest fill. It's only been seven on his six spares. First five, anyway. Now he's on a spare. 94 and above the nine. Love a hammer here. Oh. Got a break. The one and the three. Oh. Biggest fill, eight. Oh 102 through nine. So what to help in front. You could go outside to left the head pin also. Goes to the wood and it won't go. Oh, Tough break. And below average again this string. Three spears in the first, three in the second. Ten, 112, second string. Tim Douglas, 15 of all. But we'll need one more mark to win one more mark to win the string. On a spare. Tied right now. This is one, we'll take the lead here on the ball. One the first, 120 to 109. Tim trying to go up four nothing. On the spare kill. Only four. 54 half. A four in the string, 15 in the match. Up against a spare five, and later on a spare eight. Charlie came really well. Just one open box and nine. There you go. And then a couple of tens, obviously. And Tim is open. Found the groove. Oh, wow. Tough five. Way left. 59 through 6. Charlie Collins up 6 in the string. Tim Douglas up by 5 in the match. A lot of competitive matches in the ACST, Class A, Class B, and Class C. Would that be this lane? Or? Yeah. Another reset on lane 18. Again, tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock, watch the Bullerama, Candle Prince for Cancer. All up on round 2 or 6. Please register Candle Prince the 4 cancercom Candle Prince 4 cancercom Ladies, your chance to shine in Scarborough Big 20 for the qualifying the live TV show on January 14, 2023 at the Big 20. Qualifying rounds on November 29th, Tuesday, 11 o'clock. Thursday, December 1st, 11 o'clock. Saturday and Sunday, December 3rd and 4th, 11 and 2. Please register the of the 4 cancer.com. Top 5, December, uh, January 14th on Canelpin Bowling Network. Men, yeah. This next qualifier for men and women is December 18th yeah. for the top five at Bolarama. Tim with the one, three, and the eight. For a spare, good try. Wouldn't carry to the three. Again, if you want a bowl in the Atlanta Kennelpin Singles Tour, maybe a Class D division next year, possibly. Please mention Danny Finn, F I N N, at Facebook or at Brian Finn Amusements, Millis Mass, or 10. 69 through 7. Charlie Collins up 5 in the string. Come on. Tim Douglas up 6 in the match. He's 113 to win the string. Nice ball crossing over. It has the share I call the Shannon Scribner special, the 6 and 7, which made this thrilling shot in the Women's doubles event. I like it. I like it. In the ninth box, that two string final. Thrilling match you can watch on Canelton Bowling Network. Good shot. Why not? Nice try, almost. It's going to need two marks to win the string. Charlie trying to make it two points apiece. Douglas to 10, 79 to 8. Had a spare seven in the second, spare four in the fifth. That five box and the six killed him. And that's the difference so far in the string. 34 pins from two boxes. Nice ball, nine. I was going to say, surprisingly, one strike for both sides combined. Tim had a strike. Nine, that second box, first string. 
for a spare. Got it. Still has a chance. 89 the ball through nine. Three more strings to go after this. Two spares, one strike on the first, three spares here in the second. On the bonus, big fill. Broke up the post, has the force one right, the one, three, six, and ten. 95 through 9, down 7 in the string, up 4 in the match, up against a 10. He's a mark with an 8 fill. Oh, just missed it! And Charlie Collins hangs on and wins the second. It's two points apiece. Great offer by Tim Douglas, falls short. 9, 104. And what a battle here from Kingston. Alley Cat Lane's Paul Grimm with you on the Atlantic Kennelpin Singles Tour, Class A Division, Week 4 matchup. Charlie Collins, 221 through 2. Tim Douglas, 224 through 2. So Tim Douglas up 3 in the match. As we shoot over back to lead, 17. Nice ball for a strike, nine. Kingpin left up the five pin. Hello, Joseph. Yeah. Watch, thanks for watching this great game of Kenneth and Bowling. And yes, they are great bowlers. They've come a long way. It's great to see the youth in this great game. Tell your friends and family. Get them involved in leagues. For a spare, right on it. Who needs the wood? Spare to start the third. He's down three in the match coming in. Here's a recap of the first two strings. Tim took the first 120 to 109. Charlie came back in the second. 112 to 104. He's down three in the match. Put that again just a second. Charlie Collins on a spare. Goes right. He's got seven out of that. Has the one. The seven and the nine. Three pieces of wood to work with. 17 after one. Beautiful shot. Oh, almost. Made a great shot in the first string for a spare. And 27 through 2 in the third of five from Kingston, Massachusetts, Alley Cat Lanes. Again, Tim, 224 to 221 lead through two. Hello, Chris Jones. Thanks for watching the Atlanta Canopin Single Store on ACST Facebook page. You can subscribe for free. They also, Charlie gets eight. As the three to the right, the five to the left. Three spares in the first, three in the second, one so far here in the third. Too far right, missed opportunity. Two pinners look easy, it really just go about 50% or so of the time. Nine box, 36 through three in string number three. Tomorrow night, seven o'clock, at Academy Lanes. Brian Patton, Paul Hawkins Jr. Class C matchup. Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. 7 p.m. on ACST Facebook page. Face away at Kendrick Ray, four o'clock, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester. Friday, 4 p.m. on ACST Facebook page. Lakeside Lanes. Charlie breaks up the bundle, has the five to the right, the eight to the left, two pieces of wood. Three for four on the head pin here. And the third. For a spare. Doink. Okay. 
10 box, 46 through 4. Charlie from Waltham, Mass. This is 2.6 pound Tiger rolling balls. Rolling for 18 years. That's a nice ball there, but he has a 2 1 split. The 7 to the left, the 6 10 to the right. See so if he can pull that one over. Charlie's made his fair share of lemon drops this year, too, as well. You always joke about that. Just a fun guy to watch and follow, and just a great guy on off lanes. Nothing doing there. Only got one. He's at the seven and the ten. Final ball of his first half of the match. Nine box, 55 half. Tim Douglas up three in the match. Two points apiece for each bowler. Tim won in the first, 120-109. Charlie won the second, 112-104. Blow their overall averages. It's 52 half to tie the match. Nice ball crossing over nine. The six pin left up. Looking for seventh mark of the match. Got it with the wood. Matching Charlie's spare. A fourth field to tie the match. Highly anticipated match week four of the 18 week ACST season. Again, if you want to bowl, message Danny Finn, F I N N, on Facebook Messenger or Brian Finn Music's Millis Mass. Class A, Class B, Class C, and a main division 16 teams headed by Matt Hoffman, helping out with Mark Weber. Horseman left the 1 2 4 7, 16 through 1. Down 1 in the string, up 2 in the match. On the nose, Try. he's at the four and seven. Good piece of wood to help for a ten. Up against a 55 half from Charlie Collins. Ten to match. 26 through two, still down one on the string, up two in the match. Ooh. Friday Night Pro League, eight o'clock on Kenneth Bowling Network. It'll be Central One, Justin Waters and crew. Take on Union Street. Been oh, another pin reset in lane 17. 8 o'clock in Kenneth Bowen Network. Craig Holbrook, John Winchell, John Zappi, Chris Harris, Bob and Bob Wickham. Okay. Right. Early morning, Charlie, trying to wake up still. <laughs> Danny Harris, Otto Pani. Steve Bonte, Justin Wattis, good match. Central one. Friday night, Count Bowl Network after 8 o'clock. Tim Douglas, four. Look at the 146, the nine band, the three pin, the four seven to the left, one piece of wood to the right. Shot out a quarter, yikes. Up against 9, 10, and 9 from Charlie Collins. Tim uses 2.7 pound Paramount bowling ball, likes to wear Dexter shoes. Chops out 2 for right. 7. 33 through 3. Down 3 in the string. And guess what, folks? We have a tied match. Wow. What else is new in the ACST? Two terrific matches last night at CPL. I'm watching the ACST Facebook page. Jay Cook and Rich Lamoni. Kevin Dietrich Jeez. and Sam Ladati. Two great matches last night. We've seen four of these today. Spread Eagle plus one. All the leaks are done here now. All of a sudden it's very quiet here now. And 
Gentleman shot. Got two out of that somehow. A triangle, six, nine, ten, and the four seventh left with one piece of wood to work with. One on the right. It's not really much use. I don't think it is. Got the triangle for an eight. 41 through four. Tim is down five in the string. Charlie Collins now leads the match by two pins in the third of five. Tim against the nine box. Another lane reset. Kalen Pins for Cancer call from around again tomorrow, 11 o'clock, Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Please register Kalen for Cancer.com. Kalen Pins number 4 Cancer.com. That's in Porsche Come on, Kurt. Gary, Gary, thanks for watching this great game of Kalen Bowling. This holiday season, please help support Kalen Bowling Centers and help your friends and family get involved in this outstanding game of Kalen Bowling. Do think you have a fruitcake or a necktie or a boring shirt other than a wow shirt? Wow shirt for a good Christmas gift also, Kalenpins for Cancer. Please consider Kalenpins gift cards this season and all year round. Kalenpins gift cards are your bowling centers. The gift that keeps on giving, Kalenpins gift cards. Douglas, what's right? Oh, you Stole right. six out of that. The one, two, oh, seven, and the eight behind the two pin. Piece of wood yeah. in between. Looks good. Nothing doing. Oh, Only the head pin. No. Got the two eight and the seven to the left. So Charlie has to lead in the string in the match. Halfway through the match. Nine box, fifty half. Charlie Collins, halfway through the match. On with you live from Alley Cat Lanes in Kingston, Mass. They actually call it Alley Cat Lane officially. Charlie Collins a five in the string. He is now two in the match. Whoops, that's a 50, not a 40 ball. 55 50 lead. Now two in the match. We switch over to lane 18. Second half of the third string. Two points apiece so far. Tim won the first. Charlie won the second. Oh, a strike! There it goes! The Terminator finally on the board with a strike. Seven spirits, one strike in the match. 65 plus two. He's teasing Josh Daly. He's going to throw a daily double, he said. For double, almost. For a spear and strike. Missed it. Wow. What a gift. Talk about the gift that keeps on giving. Yikes. That's you call baseball. You won't save. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third. 84 through seven, in the third of five. That come back to bite him. I'm not happy with that shot. Sometimes it just looks too easy. Slip wing eagle, two four left, the three six ten to the right. Would have been a five fill. Right in the middle. Yikes. Oh, well, don't be like me now. Come on. Nice to see you. Try to get at least three. He does it again. Tough five. Each ball the five box in the match. 89 through eight. Came off and ever since that strike nine, right. and missed that golden stair with a piece of wood in front, a ten to the five. Oh my God! He's talking oh. himself up there. Back in the 
pocket, then hit seven in the ten goal poles. Three pieces of wood to work with. Alright. Throwing a good ball on the string overall. Only two marks. A spare seven in the first, strike nine in the sixth. Capped it. Won't go. Nine box, 98 through nine. First string was 109, second string 112. Split in the first two with Tim Douglas. We'll leave the door for Timmy Douglas here. In the third. Tim will need at least one mark to win the string. I think we're four two. Collins, strike! Two strikes this half. The Terminator back on his game. Seven spears, two strikes in the match. One away plus two. That helps. To a 646 last match. Week three. Right, got a bunch. Six, the one, two, seven, the eight behind the two pin, known as a sleeper pin. Final ball of the third string. Chops a one for a seven in the strike fill. One fifteen, third string. Three thirty six through three. Getting three pins better each string. Like the Jeffersons say, moving on up. Doing it. Tim Douglas at 50 half. We need a couple marks to win the string. Won the first, lost the second. Crossing over eight, the three to the right, the seven to the left. Tim down two in the match halfway through the third. Box to box. Gets a strike nine here. Oh, what a try! It shook up the seven. Look at that go. It, it holds up. You've got to be kidding me. Frightened the seven pin, but it holds its ground. It is Halloween season. Ten. Sixty through six. I think the ball just too. Nice. Why One washer had sold it today for the match. The senior citizen bought one over there. And we washer at ten dollars goes to Campus for Cancer. Over 160 wild shirts sold already. Nice head been hit. Can you get the nine to oh go? No, God. that weebles and wobbles we won't fall down. Weebles wobbles. With four seven to the left. Make something crazy. Silly one. You get an old when no one knows what Weeble is. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. A famous commercial. Very popular like toy like growing it. up. You want to talk about Charlie? I have no clue what you're talking about, I like it. You have to look online. I've heard you say it plenty of times. Yeah. The four, seven, and nine. Maybe. Oh, wow! What a shot for spare! The four, seven, and nine clutch! 70 of all through seven. What a shot! Not bad. Second spear of the string. On the bonus. Steal seven. The one, three, and the seven. Seventy-seven through seven. Down seven in the string. Down four in the match. Needs thirty-nine and three boxes to win the string. He gets a five, nine, and it's strike seven. And this time it's too full. It'll come back! Oh the god does! Unbelievable! What? Two weird shots in a row. Wow! 87 in the ball. Yeah, I can't say anything after what I said. Well, Eight spares and one strike in the match. 
the Pro Series playoff winner from last season. Needs a nine, Phil, and two tens to win the string. And he gets eight. He'll need another mark. Got it. 95 to eight. He can tie with two tens. Charlie cheering him on. Great sportsmanship as always in Kellen Bowling. The way it should be. For another one. Got it! Three spares in a row and a chance to win the third. 105 and a ball. Fourth spare of the string. Nine in the match to go with one strike. A sixth field to clinch the string. And there it is, nine! He won the first thing, now he wins the third. 114 through 9. He had two spears in the first to win it with spills of 9 and 6. He missed it left that time. Grand. No Paul Grant special missed the both times. 123, a 123 string. Wins at 123 to 115. 347 to 336. He's back up where he was after the first string up 11. One by 11. Lost by eight. One by eight. Two strings to go. Paul Grant, you live from Alley Cat Lane. Officially. Kingston Mass. The Atlanta Kennelpin Singles Tour. Class A division. A great match up here. Single digit lead for Tim Douglas, up six to two, crushing four to two in the points. Coming up clutch down the stretch again. Collins to Caleri, Wood to help. Recap the first three. Tim up 11 in the match. Over oh, Charlie Collins. Just two points separate them in the standings coming in. This is a non-division matchup. Week four of the out of 18. And he missed left with the one, two left up. Put it up again in just a moment. Off the 10 to start the fourth of five. Been a great match. Well worth the two-hour commute. Collins. Banana split. Four seven left, six ten to the right. Missed it. Tim, two big spares. Three in a row, actually. Seventh, eighth, ninth box to win that string by eight. 123-115. One spectacular shot. One got a break coming off the wall. Charlie is six. 16 through two. Again, Charlie 26 and 16 coming in. Tim Douglas 28 and 14. Good to know the Weevil Wobbles is getting around to anything. Charlie, the one, the seven, and the nine, he's got three pieces of wood to work with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two strikes and a good string. Wasn't enough. It's wide right. He's at the one and the seven. Open so far here in the fourth. Nine. Twenty-five through three. Charlie from all pin mass. He's thrown a triple strike nine, Phil, twice in his career. Big 
fan of Nick Norcross and Trent Fulbert, and a lot of others. Working on just taking his time. He's done a better job taking his time. Come Framingham State College, He's a senior. Loves getting up and bowling basketball, loves to work out. And his favorite foods are asparagus, and I don't like the second one, Brussels sprouts. Look at grenades to me. Fourth box, fourth string. Nine. Kingpin left up the five pin. Single pins go between 68 and 72 percent for pro balls. That wood stats provided by Candlepin Bowling Network. For a spare. Got it. 35 in the ball through four in string number four. Charlie down four points to two. One in the second. 336 through three, 109, 112, and 115. So if the trend continues, I get at least a 118 this turn. Run his average. On the bonus strike! Third strike of the match. 45 through four, 55 plus two through five. Tim Douglas up 11 in the match, winning the first and the third. Charlie Collins keeping the pressure on. Douglas starts the fourth. It's oh. nine. These are the three pin. Tim with nine spares, one strike so far in the match. First spare, wide right, missed opportunity. Good news for Charlie Collins for the match total. It's a 10 6 9 spare strike. Paul Grant special, it missed the second, make the third. Tied box to box here in the fourth. Tim up 11 in the match. Up against a 55 plus 2. Bonus balls from Charlie Collins. Oh, Another reset. Lemon, lemon drop on a reset. That's a dollar for Tim Douglas. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. He can pay it if he wants to. It's optional. A reset lemon drop. Wow, that's cruel, huh? No mercy. Kind of like Karate Kid, Mer Cobra Kai. No mercy. Now, if you throw a lemon drop right here, it's five bucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mark Ritchie, Riverwalk Lane said if it's on a, on a, on a spare or strike coast, $5. I agree with that. He donated $50 last time out and $20 once before also on lemon drops. I agree. Second box, fourth string. Tim Douglas up against the sixth box here. In the pocket, he has a triangle, the four, seven, eight, and the ten. Three pieces of wood. All right. Maybe. His high ten is thirteen ninety from Rochefield, Mass. For a spare. Oh, what a try! Threw the wood and the ball right at it. It won't go. And Charlie survives a second spare threat in Tim Douglas. That won't count. That's nine. 19 through two. He's up three in the string. Right now, up six in the match. But up against a nine spare and strike from Charlie Collins. You want me to get it? Yeah. Tim is just 24 years old. Birthday is December 30th. Now's the time for a birthday. He's number two seed last year in the ACST playoffs. 
and a 175 and 77 record. Second to Justin Waters, and he lost to his brother Scott Douglas in the first round here at Alley Cat. The thrilling finals, 594 to 582, watching on Kenneth and Bowling Network. Scott's had his number the last two matches. Scott took him 10 to 4 in the ACST early the season. Right to Tim through that 713. Big play. He's on the head pin. He has a clip wing eagle. Minus one now. Just the three to the right now. Two, four, seven. Not a bad piece of wood. It goes. Up against nine bucks. Nice bid. Almost. Try, bud. Try. Nine. 28 through three. Still right, three five. in the strength, six to match. Up against a spare and a strike from the Terminator. His ACST last season high single is 163. A 416 high three. His ACST high five was 657 to match. You do with Justin Waters here. We had 12 strikes and seven spares. And a 657, 630 win. Work out, work out. 4-2 split on the head pin. 4-4 four four on the head pin. Nothing to show for it yet. Leads up the 2 okay, we just saw you to the left, the, the 3 to the right. Charlie Collins has lead in the string in the match. Douglas Nate, 36-4. Charlie Collins up 9 in the string. Charlie Collins up six in the match. Tim Douglas up four points to two coming in to the fourth. Tim scores a 120, 104, and 123. 347 to 336 through three. That means a strike. It goes left. Has the one five in the center, the three to the right, the eight in the back left. Right throw. Douglas, he's at the 1-5, center Worcester. Open half. The Terminator can try to bounce on the lead. Douglas, 9, 45 half. Halfway through the fourth of five. Paul Grinthy live. Alley Cat Lane, Kingston, Massachusetts. Class A division, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, week four of 18. First non division match. The Terminator, Charlie Collins, Tim Douglas. Charlie up 10 in the string, 7 in the match. He's working on a strike on lane 18. For double, almost. Second strike, nine, Phil. Nine drop on the first ball, I should say. Three pin there. He missed one with a great piece of wood, which cost him that last string. Then threw a five box after that. This time he gets it. Spare on strike. Spare, strike, spare. 65 half, 75 and a ball through six. Up 20 halfway through the fourth. Up 17 in the match. Now he's on a spare. Another reset. No! Tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock. Candlepins for cancer.com to register. Candlepins for cancer.com to register. 11 o'clock points of bowl around, also Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Again, Candlepins the 4 cancercom If you can't bowl, please donate to the charity, candlepins 4 cancercom Voice of Bolarama. Top 5 to the live show December 18th at Bolarama. Well, Brian Fuller Jr. at Clinic, 675 yesterday. His highest score was 146. In that 146 third string, he had four spare nines and a spare seven that second half of that string. had a 93 half. He was waiting for lane 18 to reset. Okay. This Saturday, I'll be at Scarborough Big 20 for the East ICBA Championship, the ICBA Championship. Shannon Scribner will be there, Vanessa Huff, Dan Chouinard, Jason Gauthier, and a whole bunch more. 12 o'clock on Kenneth Ball Network. At 11 o'clock on Kenneth Ball Network, Jeff Surrett and Amanda Carroll 
will challenge defending champions Josh Daly and Nate Lees for the Exeter Money Match, $2,500. So we have a reset here. Maddie Kelly, Sonia Rossi, Shannon Sprint, and Vanessa Huff for the women, two from each state. Corey Packard, Sean Baker, Dan Schnard, Chris Merrill, Mark Hollywood Smith, Jason Gothier, and Steve Reno. 11 bowlers. And Dan Schnard was lucky. He was the only bowl to show up at Metro Bowl. So he, he won, obviously. Collins drops down eight. The eight and the ten split. On the fill. 83 through 6. Scoreboard showing 81. That's we'll get corrected afterwards. He's got wood to help here. Looking for four marks in a row. Got it. Perfect shot. Spare. 93 and a ball through seven. Wow. Had a shaky start. 25 through three since then. Spare, strike, spare, eight, spare. On the bonus. Looks good. Nine. 112 through seven. This is for five in a row. He's got it. 122 and a ball through eight. Outstanding bowling by the Terminator. that time the two four seven and the six to the right one twenty eight this could be something for six in a row chop out the three that time streak is over five marks in a row Nine box, 137 through nine. He had a 146 in his last match, I believe. In the pocket of a strike, yes! Four strikes in the match, wow! Two in the third, two in the fourth, 147 plus two in the tenth. Eleven spares to go with that. Shout out to Keith Bopre, telling Timmy to keep his arms straight. Thank you, Keith, for your feedback. Keith won the top bowls in the game today. Call the tsunami. For a double! Oh, so close. That would right in between the four and the eight. Like the game of operation didn't touch anything. Doink. Eight in the strike. 155. Fourth string for Charlie Collins, the Terminator. Wow. Was it 155 or 145? 155. 155? It I have, says 145. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, hold on, my mistake. It's 145. Posting error. So much for a perfect broadcast. Correction, 145, my bad. Wouldn't be the first time. 145. Nothing wrong with the 145, Charlie, right? Yes, everything's wrong with this. <laughs> Josh Daly would agree. So that'll bring him up to, what, 481 now, I believe. 481 now through four. So it's still in striking distance of 600. 145 strength. 
Do a manual scoring back here. Usually good at math, but sometimes. Come on. A little slow on it sometimes. Tim, a 45 half. Needs 100 to tie. In the second half. Good offer. Five for six in the head pin here in the fourth, but no marks. Ten for Douglas, fifty five through six, down twenty eight in the string, twenty five of the match. Charlie got hundred twenty in the last seven boxes, that fourth string, after a twenty five through three start. Ninety three in those five boxes. From the fourth to the eighth box. Douglas slams down seven, has the five, six and the ten. Douglas won't go. Seven open boxes. Start the fourth. We need to mark out to keep it close. Going to the final string. Charlie will tie it up. More than likely at four points apiece. Doinked it for a nine. 64 through seven. All of a sudden now 38 in the string. 35 in the match. What's been up? The one, two, four, seven. Get it. Class A division, week four matchup. Charlie pulling away here in the fourth. Douglas breaks through a spare. Seventy-four on the ball up against a spare six here. The bonus crossing over that looked good, but he only gets six. The six nine to the right, the seven eight to the left, 80 through eight. Good X try, but it won't go. Money to mark you to 100. Out for nine, 89 through nine. Charlie Collins a 145 string, making a statement here in the fourth. Four spares, two strikes. Four strikes in the match. Two in the second, or two in the third rather than two in the fourth. Douglas, headpin again. Nothing doing. Come on. I go. Touch it, dirt ball. The two forts left, the six to the right. See if you can get what can help. Two of these shots were made yesterday. It points by Calipins for cancer. Without wood. Nice try, will it go? Not quite. Alright, And Charlie Collins with a sizable lead going to the final string of the match. Nine. Disappointing 98 string for the current Pro Series playoff champion, Tim Douglas. Charlie Collins, a dominating 145 to 98 win in the fourth. It's four points apiece in the match. Tim Douglas, 445. Charlie Collins, 481. The lead is 36 in the match. Long Grinky Live, Ali Kathleen, Kingston Mass, the Atlantic Kennelton Singles Tour, Class A Division, week four again, of 18. Look at those marks by Charlie Collins. Five in a row. This string on the way. Grabs four.
Tim very capable doing the same thing to Charlie Collins here in the fifth. Charlie's at the one and the three. Eight to start the final string. His next opponent is Aaron St. Cyr at Academy Lane's Hayward Mass. It'll be a terrific match. Aaron in a role also. Two terrific bowlers on the same team in the Friday Night Pro League for Sunnyside. Covered him multiple times between last season and this season. Watch all those on Canada Bowling Network. Collins crossing over. Strike! Fifth strike of the match for the Terminator. Wow! Well, shut off the first two strings and strikes. And you got two in the third, two in the fourth, one here in the fifth. I give the nickname. He threw seven strikes in the Friday Night Pro League, and then he came up for cancer in Peabody at Metro Bowl. He threw ten strikes in five strings, 17 strikes in eight strings in less than 24 hours. So he went from the strike machine to the Terminator. Now you know the, the rest of the story, as Paula Harvey would say. First bonus strike, five, the one, two, eight, six and ten to the right, two pieces of wood. Nice bid, let go, almost. Thought he had it. Wow. Nine in the strike, 27 through two. He can't believe it didn't go either. Picks up a 10, 37 through three in the fifth. Oh my God. Up 36 coming in, a tight match. He was down 11 through three. And one by 47. 145 to 98. Boy, a lemon drop, got three. He did get a lemon drop on a reset, so uh, Tim Douglas did, so we'll tease Timmy about a dollar afterwards. More points apiece so far in the match. Collins, what a comeback for a spare. 47 of the ball through four here in the fifth. I don't know why. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones, you make the harder ones. Charlie trying to win the string and get 10 of 14 points and jump ahead of Tim in the conference. Points. Two behind coming in. Six, maybe seven. It's six, the one, two, four, seven, four, Westman. 53 to four. Grazed it, leads up the two and the seven. Missed it for an 8 61 half for Charlie Collins. Tim Douglas needs a big half and a big string. You take the string and the total. Mainly the total. Recap the first four. Tim winning the first and third. Charlie winning the even nice. strings. 36 now after that 145. Nice. Sensational. What string? There we go. And Elaine just lost his power. So I reset again the umpteen time today. Charlie Collins, you got better each string. You had it while waiting for the lane to reset. You had a, a steady climb. You had a 109, a 112, 115. You're supposed to get a 118. I know. I even you, said you, it. You shook things up with a 145. I even said it. I was like, I'm waiting for my 118 game. I might get it here. Let's just like take away the 145 game. Now let's say, let's let's be funny here. You think Tim Douglas for that reset lemon drop should pay a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody's throwing one yet. So. All right. So you're tied four points apiece going to the fifth. You have to a good start. 61 half. Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah. Thank you very much.
How about a shout out to your, how about a shout out to your mother? Oh my gosh. Hello, mother. And uh, <laughs> hello, Hunter. Tim Douglas starting his fifth string, down 36 in a 61 half. High single is 190. High triple 713. Did it last month, September 13? 1378. Jay Cook was down 35 to Rich Lamoni after two strings yesterday and won by 36 in the third. Ended up winning the match by two pins. Nice. Early match last night at CPL. Nine for Tim, up one in the string, box to box, down 35 in the match. We get to strike nine, ten, spare six, and eight, though. 61 half from Charlie Collins. Tim from Marshfield, Massachusetts. That's the ball there for the split. Two, four, seven, the ten. Work with it, work with it. Eight for ten, the head pin last turn with one spare six, and he only got a 98. Charlie Collins, eight for ten, the head pin, he got a 145. Just wow. missed the three pin. Won a main, many state tournament two years in a row recently. In the past, won the ICBA $1,000 scholarship two years in a row in the youth league. It's a nine. 18 through 2, down 9 in the string, 45 in the match. Big fan of Craig Holbert and Bob Wickham. We'll see Friday night in the Friday Night Pro League on Kenneth Ball Network. Union Street at Central 1, featuring Justin Waters. In the pocket for a strike. Oh, we'll get it. Thought he had it. As the 7 8 he used that wood to help. Too. Tim works as a mechanic at Boston Ball and Hanover Mass. Just missed the wood. Ten box, twenty-eight through three. Getting frustrating. Throwing a good ball overall, but not much to show for it lately. Scores of 120, 104, 123, 98 so far. Another lane reset. Okay, speaking of food, uh, What's up, what's up with Brussels sprouts? I you like Brussels. Love, I absolutely they love. Look like, they look like grenades. That's all right. I love it. <laughs> I mix them with like salt. I like vegetables. I yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should try salt. I don't like Brussels. I like I like asparagus. I didn't even like. Here's the thing with me. When I was younger, I didn't try anything. Now I will try anything. But, uh, I don't know. I just started liking asparagus, Brussels sprouts. I don't know. I just love it. It's healthy. Nice. Another reset. Tim's favorite foods: pizza, pasta, hamburger helper, and sloppy joes. And likes cookie dough and mint for ice cream. And also likes chocolate chip party mix, which is the same as birthday cake. And in the fifth string, Tim Douglas won the first and third. Charlie won the second and the fourth. The fourth, 145.98. And Tim in a big hole here in the match. Right now, box to box down nine in the string, 45 in the match, up against a spare six and an eight. Charlie Collins. If you want to join the Atlantic Kennelfin Singles Tour, another lane reset. If you want to join the Atlantic Kennelfin Singles Tour, <laughs> a strike, I guess you could say. A double. A double, a double, a double strike. Double strike. <laughs> the reset in a sense. That's not going to reset either. If you join the Atlantic Kennelfin Singles Tour, message Danny Finn on Facebook Messenger, F I N N, Danny Finn. Or Ryan Family Amusements, Millis Mass. Class A, B, and C. A shout out to our B and C bowls also. Great attitudes. Pulling really well overall. The terrific match will be covered. We're covering Class C tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Academy Lanes. Brian Patton and Paul Atkinson Jr. on ACST Facebook page, Thursday night, 7 o'clock. And Faye Sawyer, Red Hot Faye Sawyer, 
22 and 6. Yeah. Against Ken Dubray, the home bowler at Lakeside yeah. Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, Friday at 4 p.m. on ACST Facebook page. And the Friday night probably 8 o'clock at CPL. Central One Union Street on Caliphon Bowling Network. Just five doubleheaders, Charlie, in the last next six days. In the last six days combined. So how's school going? Framingham State. Is it Framingham University or is it Framingham State still? Framingham State University. Okay. But uh I'm going I'm going right after this. Yeah. <laughs> how you keep up the homework and stuff? It's hard, but uh yeah, get through it. I'm just ready to be done. Because when I'm done, I've been telling everybody, but like when I'm done, I'm going to be doing the pro tours, doing everything. Uh oh, watch out, watch out for this guy. All right, I think we're all set to go. Let's see if we can go three. Maybe. Let's go for three in a row here in the lane breakdown. Triple strike. Triple strike. We had a triple strike lane breakdown. I'll see ya. I've, I've never seen a triple strike lane breakdown. Have you, Charlie? Yeah, no <laughs> hey, maybe you can throw it. Kurt fixed it, so. Hey, Only here for 33 years. The Rock and Bowl be Friday and Saturday night here. I believe it's 40 or 42 dollars. Six to ten unlimited bowling. The Rock and Bowl at Alley Cat Lane. Only four that time. So 123 in that third string, but 98 in that fourth. Only one spare. Good ball there. Won't carry oh again gosh. on the object pin. Wow. Charlie Coster on jump him in the standings. 26 and 16 coming in. Tim 28 and 14. Nine Great box. Nine. 37 through four. Keep fighting up there. He said one mark in the last 14 boxes. Uncharacteristic. I'm trying to get at least six points here with the one in the string. He needs a few marks to do that. Right now, on 26 in the string, all of a sudden, 62 in the match. There's 11 pin lead. Right. Three. Right. Half west right, the 3 9 and the 7. He's got two pieces of wood. Never could use a smart. Oh and my god. The wood. And that 9 pin really falls. It's the 3 and the 7, open half. For the second string in a row. And one spare in 15 boxes against the Terminator. Won't get it done. 8, 45 half. Charlie Collins pulling away in the fourth and fifth. The Atlantic Candlepin single store, Class A division. All agreeing with you. Alley Cat Lane, Kingston, Massachusetts. Charlie Collins, that big fourth string. Trying to put the dagger on here. Up 16 in the string. 52 in the match. Five marks together in that fourth. 93 pins in those five boxes. Fourth to eighth box. And he starts over the 3 2 split, the 3 6 10 on the right, 4 7 on the left. Five strikes to the match. Good effort there. He's up the 4 and the 10. Missed it left for an eight. Back to back eight, 69 through six here in the fifth. Collins goes left. These are the bundle of six. 11 o'clock Saturday, Justin Skelly, Bob Lee in the call. Exeter Lane's money match for $2,500. Josh Tilly and Ailey's defending the title going for the, the repeat against Amanda Carroll from Gray, Maine. And Jeff Surrett, outstanding lineup on Camp Mullen Network. Nice ball, spare. Third mark of the string, 79 of the ball through seven here in the fifth. Thirteen spares, five strikes for the Terminator. Wait. Wait. On 
on the fill. Right down the middle gets four. 83 through 7. Needs 119 for a 600. We need a mark to do that. Difficult leaves. If I go two into four, I got three. It's up a three, six, and ten. Eight, ninety-one through eight. So to get the six hundred, he'll need twenty-eight in two boxes. Obviously, winning the string of the match is more important. That's the one, two, four, and the nine. Spare? No. So we'll get a 10 if he wants to get that 600. You get a spare 8 or strike 8. Chops out 8. Back to back 8s. Four 8s in the last five boxes. 99 through 9. The letdown here in the fifth. Has a huge lead in the match though. Looks like four points for him in total. Unless Tim can have a half like Charlie did, that fourth string of 93 in five boxes. The fourth eighth box. Charlie has five eights in the string. 600 in jeopardy. Get the 600. He has the one, two, and the eight. He gets a nine. 108, fifth string. Well, so he ends up at 589. Five strikes in the match. And we're a little, little bit of steam in the fifth string. That's wrong with the 589. Right around his average of 118. It's that fourth string that's a big difference. And now Tim Douglas has a chance to win the string. We need two marks to do it, more than likely. And we'll need a, probably the best half of his life to win total. A banana split. Three, six in the right, four, seven the left. Total is more likely in Charlie Collins. Colin? Tim, good effort there. Couldn't get to the four and seven. Good effort. And Tim will try to get two points and win the string. It's six out of 14. In the case of the tie of the conference, that won't count. That's an eight. 53 through six. Down 16 in the string. The match is pretty much over. He's down 52. The question is, will be 8 points or 10 points for Charlie Collins? 8 points to be tied in the conference as far as the points go. Charlie, 2 points behind coming in. Tim's only losing match. His brother Scott Douglas lost 10 of 14. In the pocket again, another split. The umpteenth time. The three and the seven. Can't buy a break. Last two strings. Good effort. Won't go. Still open here in the, in the fifth. Only one spare in the fourth. 
10, 63 through 7. He's down 20 in the string. He needs to get to 109 to win six points. 46 in three boxes. Two marks with, with big fills. We'll talk to Charlie Collins before we sign off. And Tim, if you'd like to. Nice ball. Almost a strike. I would nudge that four pin. Great chance to convert. Six for eight. The head pin here on the first. This is our fifth string. Eight for ten last one. Much needed to spare. 73 in a ball through eight. Try to get the string. The match is out of reach. First mark of the string. With nine boxes in a row. Back to last string without a mark. On the bonus. Another split. The three, six, and the seven. 80 through eight. He needs 29 and two boxes to win the string. 28 to tie and get one point. What a try. He needs a mark of the 10th. Big 10, 90 through 9. One box to go in the match. He's down 9, 99, 90, up against a 9. So he's 19 to win the string. 18 to tie, 19 to win. Come on, Tim. Had a, had a strike on the first string. No strike since then. Just 11 spares. Nice ball there. No split this time. Is a chance. 10 pin left up. Second string, you know, 8 for 10 the head pin, and not much to show for it. But if he gets a mark here, he'll need 8 to tie and 9 to win. To win 3 of the 5 strings and get 6 of 14. Charlie has won the total handily. Tim won the first and third, trying to win the fifth, but he needs his mark. Oh, look, go, no, tough break. And Charlie Collins survives the string. And you can and Tim can't, is in shock. Unbelievable. How did that not go? And Charlie will go 10 and 4. Tim at 10, 100, fifth string. Charlie Collins, 108 to 100. Tim, 545. Charlie Collins, 589. Yeah. Charlie Collins wins by 44 pins. We'll talk to Charlie. Just we'll get the official scores first. Here's the box by box scores there in the fifth. Tim, scores Tim. He was the official score. Talk to Charlie before we sign off. He gave me uh, 40 and that's 5 bucks for. Toronto, 7 o'clock, Class C Division. Brian Patton, Hawkins Jr., Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Friday, 4 p.m., Faye Soy, Ken Dubray. 4 p.m., Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. On the ACST Facebook page. Please subscribe on the ACST Facebook page. It's free. Thank you to those watching this great game. account Mullen, Scott Douglas, hello. And we'll talk to Charlie before we sign off. Win just for the official scores from Tim Douglas. It's a close match. There's only 11 pins through three. Tim in the lead, but Charlie, the 145, 98 fourth, turns it around completely. And Charlie goes 10 and 4 with Tim Douglas. Here's a recap of the match. Try to zoom in, zoom in a little more here. Tim Douglas, 120, 104, 123, 98, 100. Disappointing, 545. One in the first and third. Charlie Collins, 99, 112, 115, 145, 108, 589. Takes 10 to 14. 589 to 545. Start the Charlie before we sign off. Charlie, it was a good match. The first three strings, you pulled away in the fourth. You had another great. 
five marks in a row. You had 93 in the five boxes. That's four to eight box. And five strikes on his last three strings. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know how that happened, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, so it's like I don't... It just came out of the blue. So you should bowl tired more often, I guess, huh? I guess so. <laughs> it's an early match, so and I'm flying right to school. So, <laughs> so congratulations, you win 10-4. and four. Now you're jumping the standings now. You're after a good start now. You're 26 and 16 coming in, so now you go to 36. 20? And 20. Yeah. So not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun in this and, league. And all you've got next is Aaron St. Cyr, right? Next, is it? No, it's That's Dan, it. He's got, Dan Gauthier. you got Dan Gauthier. He's got Aaron St. Cyr next. That's right. you got yep. Dan Gauthier in Woburn Bowler Drum. Yep, yep. And Dan's a very good bowler, too. Dan is a very good bowler. Can you have a three-letter word describing a 10 of 14 against Tim Douglas here at home uh, lanes? I'm going to say a small wow today, not a big one, just because. Gee, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Charlie Collins. Charlie Collins. 10 to 4 with Tim Douglas, Paul Grant saying so long from the Alley Cat Lane, Kingston Mass. Thank you for watching this great game of Canada from Bowling.